your lips gotta be popping for whatever reason. Heck yes, girl, I got you. Uh, if I'm dies, I'm screwed. Some of y'all may make fun of me. Count one, two, three. And don't you stop the music, get into it, won't you dance with me? Find a place and lose it, you can do it, won't you dance with me? Move your Hey y'all, what is up? It is Marissa Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Some of you may know me as my drifting desk where I help you conquer college and that's exactly what we're going to do today in my backpack. Yesterday I gave you a video of basically my senior year school supply haul, which if you haven't seen yet, I'll link up above and down below. But today I wanted to give you a look of everything that's in my book bag for school because some of it isn't school supplies, I guess, so it wasn't talked about yesterday. But I do think it's important to have for school, so I wanted to give you just an in-depth look at to what I actually bring with me every day to class, aside from just school supplies as well. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing down below and turning on your little post notifications, that way you get notified every time I post a new video because I've been posting a video every day in August. So if you've already missed out on those, you should definitely be catching up because they're goodies, if I'm to say so myself. But also after August, you don't wanna miss a video after that because we have fun all school year. Okay, so to start off, we're actually gonna go over what like my book bag itself. This is my book bag. It is a Vera Bradley book bag. It's kind of, I think it's their like jean print, I think they say, or like denim print, I think that's what it is. If you've been here for a while, you know that, you know, I think my last two book bags that I've had for the past three years have been Vera Bradley book bags and they've held up. There was nothing wrong with my old one. I just wanted a new one. I don't know why, but I did. I just got myself a new book bag. And previously before then, I used an Infinity book bag, which is a cheerleading like branded book bag. And and that was amazing. I still have that one as well. The money saver person in me is crying right now because there's no reason I should be buying book bags. But <laughs> I do have some comments of people asking me like, what's the best book bag brands, etc., etc. So like I've only used Infinity and Vera Bradley's and these are the bomb. Like, especially if you get like the waterproof ones of Vera Bradley, like they're perfect. They have tons of pockets in them. I do get the extra large like campus style book bag. So that has like the most pockets. I think retail, it goes for, you know, more than well over a hundred but I actually got this at the Alden Mall, so I want to say I only spent 30 or 40 dollars on it So I'm okay with that on the one side of my book bag I actually keep an umbrella at all times because I never know when I'm going to be caught in the rain It happens frequently and I always have my umbrella with me So I always keep it in the little like bottle pocket on one side and on the other side is a water bottle And this is a swell water bottle by the way if everything does have a link I will be linking everything down below that I have in my book bag that way if you guys wanted to add to your collection you you can, but this is a swell water bottle. I actually won this. I did not buy this because they're kind of expensive. So on the larger like book bag ones, there's actually this like secret, I don't think it's secret, but there's this secret like side pocket that opens sideways on the book bag. And this is a laptop kind of pocket. So it doesn't even go over the top at all. It's only on the side. So I think that's like really cool. But of course in my book bag at all times, I carry my laptop with me because I use it throughout school. I don't use it really to take notes on, but I still check our Carmen page or if you like Blackboard or whatever to make sure that I'm up to date on assignments or anything like that. So I always carry my laptop with me. It is a MacBook Air and the case itself and like the, the protective case are from Amazon and all these stickers are from Redbubble. So I'm probably not gonna link each individual sticker from Redbubble, but I do have a whole video where I talked about all my stickers on my laptop. So I'll link that up above and down below if you you're curious about where I got my stickers, but this is a necessity. I never leave home without my laptop ever. <laughs> and of course to go along with my laptop, I also never leave home without my charger because I've been caught in class sometimes without the charger. My laptop dies, I'm screwed. So I always keep my charger with me just kind of, you know, wrapped up with the laptop and the little laptop pocket in the back, just in case. In the next like bigger pocket, so I guess the biggest pocket, I keep all of my like, I guess, booked school supplies in a way. I don't know what you would call them, but all of my like books. I keep one five star folder in my book bag and I always keep paper in it just in case the professor were to ever ask students to have paper out to turn in like a handwritten assignment on the spot kind of thing. I never want to be without paper. And also it's a good tip for my incoming freshmen who, you know, want to make friends in class. If you always keep paper and somebody else doesn't, you can always offer them a piece and it's kind of a nice gesture, easy way to make friends. I don't keep all of these in my book bag at one time, but I'm just showing you that I do write my notes on notebooks. Each individually, I love taking handwritten notes. That is my style of note taking, but whenever I'm going to a class, I'll obviously put that class's notebook in my book bag, but I just put all three of them right now for this video. And then I have two smaller books that I keep in my book bag with me. This one is my YouTube book. I'm sure you guys have seen this a lot, but it's kind of where I plan out all of my YouTube videos 
those I kind of keep a little calendar going and just jot down notes of YouTube ideas. I like having one place to just brain dump YouTube stuff into so I never leave home without this notebook just in case something hits me while I'm out. And then I of course never leave home without my bullet journal which acts as my planner or like my assignment log, my calendar, all that good stuff. So I keep all of my assignments in here and like class information. This was from last year's you know, bullet journal setup. I will be having a new bullet journal setup coming up very soon in the near future. So be on the lookout for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. But that is everything that I keep in like the biggest pocket on my book bag. If I do need textbooks for class or whatever reason, they'd go into that pocket. But typically my classes don't need textbooks during class. It's just stuff to read and do homework out of. So I don't usually put them in my book bag. I don't really need them. And then my book bag has this like, see, this one's actually secret I think, but a little secret pocket here that you can't see unless like you know that it's there. And so in that pocket, I keep my wallet because I need money sometimes, or I need my ID, I need my book ID. So everything stays right in that little secret pocket of my book bag, as well as my house key, which I keep on a little hair tie because I don't have any more rings. But it's also a little secret pocket so nobody else can get to it. I mean like other than the 20,000 people who are gonna watch this video. <laughs> and now we're getting back into these like bottom smaller pockets. And so in the bigger smaller pocket, I keep my glasses, which are Jenny McCarthy glasses. And then the case itself is from Vera Bradley because it's like a hard case so I know that my glasses aren't getting smushed in my book bag. I also keep a pair of sunglasses in my book bag and these ones are from Diff. I'm sure that you guys have seen me wear these a ton of times, especially on my Instagram. I love these sunglasses and the case itself is from Diff as well. Some of y'all may make fun of me, but I, I hate using a mouse pad on my laptop. I swear I have carpal tunnel already, so I have to use a mouse and so I always keep one in my book bag because if I'm on my laptop, especially if I'm at like a table kind of desk, I have enough room to put my laptop out and my mouse. Of course, if I'm on one of those like seat pullout trays kind of college desks, I don't have room for a mouse, so I don't use it then. But I do keep it in my book bag just in case I ever you know, have room to use it because I prefer to use a mouse. As far as writing utensils that I keep on my book bag, I keep a Pilot G2 pen in my book bag at all times. I also keep a Pilot Precise V7 rolling ball pen. This one's like super inky. The other one is a gel pen and this is a rolling ball pen. So I just keep kind of both for, I don't really know why. One's blue ink and one's black ink just in case I would need different inks. And then I usually only keep one pencil in my book bag and it's just this orange mechanical pencil. But I also have acquired this pink mechanical pencil because I actually accidentally stole it from my roommate Caitlin over the summer so I need to give this back to you love you <laughs> I kind of have a bigger pocket inside this pocket which I keep to hold all of my like miscellaneous stuff that like I need but also I don't really have a space for I always keep this mini calculator in my book bag just in case I were to need it I don't take any math classes anymore but I don't know sometimes you just need a calculator and you can't have your phone out so I bring a mini calculator that I got I think at CBS or something so all my ladies out there keep some tampons or pads in your book bag you never know when mother nature is gonna hit you or even if you know just just keep them in your book bag that way you don't have to remember to pack them when you know your period's coming I just always keep at least two in my book bag and then once I know that I've started I'll stock up on more so that way I've never out and that's also another little friend tip especially with like giving out paper to friends if a girl you know you're sitting next to someone and they're just like do you have a tampon like heck yes girl I got you go do you I'll take notes for you I'll share my notes at the end of class like help a girl out easy way to make friends for my mechanical pencils I always keep an extra thing of lead in my book bag just in case I were to run out like during a test or something that would suck and I always keep a bigger eraser especially for when I'm doing scantrons or if I need to erase like a huge section of something I will go ahead and just use this bigger eraser because I don't like using the tiny top ones because those ones run out so quickly and then I keep three different like lip products I guess you could say I keep a BB or Bebe I don't know how to say this but a classic chapstick in my book bag that my friend Caitlin got for me when she was over in Germany and then I also keep Carmax in my book bag I love Carmax for the winter time I think it's like the best for winter and then I also keep this Victoria's Secret flavored gloss in my book bag because sometimes you know your lips gotta be popping for whatever reason but me and Griffin for lunch one day just a little and he'll be like, ooh, ooh, what you got on? You just, you just gotta step out real quick, okay? So I keep a little lip gloss in there. And I also keep this little, I don't know what these are called, like coiled hair ties, I don't know. But these ones are supposed to be really good because they don't get caught, I guess, in like tangled hair or like curly hair. But also you could put it around like twice and it's just kind of something to be, you know, like low key. And technically they're supposed to not leave like crimps or like kinks in your hair. You know, when you leave like a hair tie in for too long, you have that like wave. And so if I need to put my hair up for whatever reason, just for a little bit and I can take it down and then act like nothing happened and you can't really tell that I had a hair tie in. Even on straight hair, you really can't tell on curly hair, but even on straight hair. So I keep one of these in my book bag, just in case. And then moving on to the last littlest pocket in my book bag, 
I actually keep a bag within that pocket and this is like my tech bag. One thing that I cannot leave home without are my headphones and these are the Beats Power Beats 3 so they're kind of, they have like the one wire that you can just kind of like put on and they're Bluetooth so I can hook up to my laptop or I can hook up to my phone and I have some headphones here to listen to music or to edit a video or whatever. I, if I want to watch Netflix during class, don't do that. But you know, I have, I have headphones. These do have to be charged though and so sometimes if I forget to charge them, I actually keep a second pair of headphones, which I forgot to show you, but I keep the actual like aux cord headphones in my laptop bag because my phone does not have an aux cord to it. So I can never use those with my phone, but I could plug those into my laptop to use those to like edit videos or do something with. So I actually keep those in the front pocket of my laptop, like pink case, but I just forgot to show you guys that. But if I ever did want to plug that into my phone, I actually have whatever this little tiny thing is called that Apple gives you that everybody loses. And it's the one that you can plug your aux cord in so that way you can plug it into a phone that just has the charging port and so I keep one of these in there just in case I were to need those headphones for whatever reason. You guys are probably gonna kill me for this but I don't want to feel like I can't live without my phone but I low-key can't live without my phone and so I actually keep three different phone chargers in that tech bag because I never know when I'm gonna need any of them I guess. All of them are kind of suited for different instances if you know what I mean. So the first one that I have is, it comes in a little fancy case, and it's one of the portable chargers. It's from PowerAd off of Amazon. This one comes in handy when I'm on the go, like if I'm riding the bus, or if I'm walking around, whatever I'm doing, or if I'm at like a sorority event. I usually never literally go anywhere without my book bag, so I don't only carry it to class, but if I need this, I have it. And then since I carry, you know, two other normal chargers, I can just take the wire off of my Apple charger, you plug it into the charger itself, and then, you just plug it into your phone. Why is my flashlight on? Do you guys see that? How did I do that? And now it's charging my phone. I mean, obviously you guys probably can't see that far away, but it is charging my phone. There's lights here by the button, which I like because I've had portable chargers in the past that really don't tell you the battery level of it. So I would never know if it's charged or not, but this one shows you based on this button here. So right now I know that it's on because all the lights are on and it shows all four units being lit up. So it's hundred percent charged right now. But as like one unit drops off, I would know that like, hey, it's 75% charged, 50, 25, now it's dead. So I really like that because I know that if it's charged or not or if I need to charge it, if it's running low, whatever. And then I can just turn it off when I'm done using it and save some battery. It did come with a charging cable itself. So of course, when it's ready to charge this, it came with a cord. I keep it over by my desk because that's where I charge all of my electronics. So I don't have to carry the cord with me, but I just carry the power add portable charger with me. And obviously you guys already saw one of them, but like I said, I keep three phone chargers. The portable charger would be like one. And then I keep two other ones in my bag. One is the actual Apple charger and it's like a normal like short cord that way if I needed to plug this into you know my laptop for whatever reason I could or to a wall outlet if I'm near one but most likely I'm not near one there's usually not an outlet right next to your seat in class so that's why I also keep this one in here which is a 10 foot charger sometimes you gotta reach you gotta go from one end of the classroom to the other and I am a phone charged okay and the last thing that I keep in my tech bag is this little piece of my laptop charger it's the piece that you could like take off the extension or like longer part to to plug into like the big box to make it a shorter charger because sometimes i don't need the extra long part of it and so i keep this little piece that way i can make it shorter if i needed to but that is it that's everything that i keep in my vera bradley book bag for school all of which i use almost on a daily basis if there's anything that's not in my book bag but that you keep in your book bag let me know down below because i might need to add to my stash or i'm also just curious like what what are y'all's like go-to items to never leave home without is it like your car max is it your phone charger do you need three of them like me let me know down below which y'all never leave home with and what is inside your book bag for the school year if you made it this far and you have not yet subscribed you definitely should before you go hit that little notification bell give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or you learned something new i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i will see you in the next one